El casco de Ricciardo, que es ese de color azul. El casco de Ricciardo es... A ver, no es tan diferente al del año pasado, aunque a mí me gusta más que el del año pasado, ¿eh? No, no sé, no es, un, no es un estilo que me encante. Esto ha cambiado de color, se ha puesto... Vale, pues ya nos están diciendo que, azul, que el, azul, el azul hasta luego, ¿eh? Me parece que va a ser naranja y gris. O sea, y... Tiene pinta, ¿eh? of launch show. Tonight we're going to meet the exciting new McLaren F1 driver lineup and reveal the McLaren's 2021 challenger, the MCL 35M, a story that started almost 60 years ago. Pero esta no es la misma que está en el evento de esports, no jodas. It's a fun place to be, it's a fun garage to be in. We can be quite optimistic going into the new season, at the same time we need to be realistic as well. McLaren sabe hacer presentaciones, sí. McLaren sabe hacer presentaciones. Today's presentation is being live streamed on McLaren.com, YouTube, McLaren's social media channels, and of course on Sky Sports F1. To get involved in the conversation online, use the hashtag MCL35M. Tonight, we've taken over the famous McLaren Boulevard, where normally scores of iconic race and road cars sit, a shrine to a Formula One and motorsport like no other. Now, unfortunately, due to the coronavirus pandemic, this year's event has had to take place behind closed doors, and everything you see tonight has and will be filmed in line with COVID-19 regulations. Fear not, though, we're still being joined virtually <laughs> by some coche. very special guests. Wow, look at that! Vaya. <laughs> Ponerme a mí también, eh. <laughs> Te imagino. Joining us on stage, we have 200 random, no plus and Sky VIP fans from all over the world, from countries sí, sí. as far afield as Brazil, the US and China. There's simply too many to mention, but we love having your company tonight. How are you? <laughs> Esta gente se viene arriba, eh. Fantastic. Now, before we go any further, Shall we welcome Britain's youngest podium finisher to the stage? It's Lando Norris. Y le ponen el 4 ahí. Venga, Lando, ¿te imaginas que aparece emitiendo en directo? Bueno, 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 bueno. ¿A dónde vas? ¿A dónde vas, McLaren? ¿A dónde cojones vas? Bueno, 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 bueno. Lando Norris. Madre, el tío baja como si... No, no, aquí no pasa nada, ¿eh? Yo... Look at that. What an entrance. Can I wave at them? You definitely can. Hi. Good evening. No, they're even waving back. How are Hi, you, Lando. Lando? Um, I'm wonderful. Very excited. My third... Third reveal of a car. Um, yeah, third season in Formula One, so I'm, I'm pumped and very excited. You're practically a veteran of the team. I am. Your feet are old. firmly under the table. Does that mean you approach 21 any differently? Um, I wouldn't say so. I think there's a little bit more of a leadership role I almost have to take. Um, not like just the leader. Not, I'm not leading the whole team. But, Ojo, you know, eh? More things I need to lead upon myself. Um, take on a bit more responsibility within the team. And eh, lógico, uh, realidad, that eh, just comes with the experience. You know, it wasn't something I could just do last year. It's something that comes with experience and getting to know the team, getting to know the car. And um, yeah, also having Daniel in the team, a guy with less experience of working with McLaren and the people within. Then um, that's where I need to step it up a little bit. No, I'm fascinated by this dynamic, not just because of the memes, but just yeah. to know and understand how it's going to work. Because you have been here longer, but he yeah. comes with more experience and obviously more podiums and wins. Exactly. Uh, how do you think it's going to play out? Uh, we have to wait and find oh. out. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. You know, it's uh, it's an opportunity for us to work together. For me to obviously get to 
learn from someone different, someone who has scored more podiums and race wins. And, um, you know, my teammate for the last two years, Carlos, was extremely good and he helped me a lot uh, to kind of get settled into Formula One and the rhythm of everything. Um, and he was a very good teammate and we worked well together. And that's something that's very important and helped us score some very good results. So the plan is to try and continue that again this year. Um, I work with Daniel, but everyone's different, you know, so there's going to be different characters. Bueno, aquí está diciendo que, que Ricciardo es un piloto con, con palmarés, con victorias y tal. Y que va a aprender de otra forma de la que ha aprendido de Carlos, que también ha aprendido mucho de él y tal. ¿Tiene sus títulos esto? Sí, sí, a mí me da igual, ¿eh? It really is incredible. I think, no creo, ¿no? I mean, I, <risa> ¿Se imagina que lo, lo pone en directo? Nah, no, no tiene. Ah, pero se entiende bastante bien, es un, es un británico puro, ¿sabes? <risa> And um, the atmosphere within the team, the mentality was just not like, dead, but it was just lacking a little bit, you know, when it lacked, lacked that enthusiasm and that final push and drive um, from the drivers and just that mentality to want to go out and win again. And um, it was a fresh start, obviously, with, with Carlos and myself a couple of years ago. And um, it's another one, to, you know, another one today and, and this season for us to liven things up. And it's improved so much over the past few seasons. Uh, and it's so good to see. Every time I come in, you know, everyone's a bit more smiley and happy. Um, and everyone's very excited and motivated to, to take that next step and work that little bit harder, try and perfect everything, um, make the car that little bit quicker every time they can to, uh, to bring the fight to the front and try and get us back to, to winning races and, and on the podium again. There certainly <laughs> is a real buzz about the place, I have to say. Uh, well, shall we talk to him then? Shall we meet your teammate for 2021? Sure. Here he in. is, Daniel Ricciardo. Oh my god, imagínate tú a Ricciardo Os voy a comentar un poco por encima de lo que dicen, pero bueno, que tampoco es nada muy importante, son cosas poco tópicos y tal. Ahí está Daniel. Ahí está Daniel. ¿A cuánto se paga que está riéndose cuando se baja del coche? ¿A cuánto se paga? <ríe> qué grande, qué grande, Daniel. <risa> Es que es increíble, es que no, no puede parar de reír. Ahí está el casco, ¿eh? Es cool, ¿no? Sí. Es increíble. Es genial ver a todos. Es genial ver a ti. ¿Did he leave you enough space to pull the car? I noticed he just made that gap a little bit smaller. <laughs> I feel I. That's probably the best I've parked in years, actually. <laughs> you left the lights on. They turn off, right? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so here you are. Yeah. In McLaren, finally. It feels like a long time coming. Ultimately, why did you make the decision to move here? Uh, I just thought papaya would look good on me. Oh, I mean, I have to say, it suits you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah? Brings out the hues of your skin. The complexity, yeah. the beauty. Um, yeah, it feels like a long time ago. I mean, the decision was made, or like, let's say, kind of executed around May 2020. So, I don't know, that's like maybe nine months ago or something. So, it's been a while, of course, at least in my mind, but... Now to be here at the MTC wearing the colors, it feels real. And uh, yeah, I just, I was very impressed with, you know, what the team had done, particularly the last, you know, couple years. And uh, felt like I wanted to be Como que ahora, que ya de verdad está allí con los colores y tal, ahora es como cuando de verdad se cree que está más claro, ¿no? Talking of mutual feelings, you've got a, a mutual love of red wine with Zach, so that probably helps. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Tell me about the contract negotiations, though, because they weren't simple, because you were out on your farm in Perth with pretty dodgy internet. Yeah, it was the kind of um, the most... I mean, 2020 was weird in general, but I was, I was out on the farm and, yeah, like, Wi-Fi was limited, let alone phone signal, and here I am trying to, like figure out my future and make a deal in these circumstances and the kind of next person of advice. I mean, I had, I had Blake there and mum and dad at times and, and my trainer Michael, but if I kind of got sick of them, the person I was leaning on for advice was either a, a sheep or a bit of cattle on the farm. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was unique. How was that chat? What do they have to offer? I mean, I, I took silence as um, goodness. Affirmative. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... That was that, but it, it was unique. But I, I, uh, I think it also gave me kind of this sounds a little bit probably like deep, but it gave me the clarity I needed, like just being out there in the middle of nowhere. And obviously, it's it, every time you do a contract, it's a big decision, but it was actually nice just to be in that environment 
and kind of make the decision in those circumstances. Yeah, very calming. Um, less calming. Un año raro para hacer negociaciones. Ever. En resumen. Grand Prix experience. <laughs> Tell us about that. Adelaide, 93, I want to say. Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, so my research. Well, it, it was pretty calming because the main photo I got from that weekend was me asleep on the pit straight after the oh. after the race. Just so, exhausted from the yeah. emotion of it all. Yeah, I think, I mean, I was obviously very young to remember, but there's a photo. It might have been 92, actually. Um, and obviously everyone, you know, after the podium goes on the pit straight and there's a photo of, like, me in Dad's lap, like like that. Oh. And I think I had a... I think I had a, maybe a Jean Lacy hat on, um, if my memory's correct. And, uh, yeah, I was asleep. So with my little earmuffs, so it was a big one. I kind of feel that you're a bit of a closet McLaren fan before, well before you even signed for them. Is that true? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've been a, obviously growing up a fan of Formula One and, you know, as a kid, you remember two teams, you know, and obviously being an Italian background, there was Ferrari, which was a team I remembered, and there was McLaren, um, obviously being a big fan of Senna as sí, well. Sí, but, but um, and even actually, you know, Alan Prost getting to work close to him the last couple of years at Renault. That was really cool. Um, but then, yeah, as one of, one of the very first, like, gifts I bought myself once, once I was in F1 and had enough money to buy a pair of jeans, uh, the, the first kind of real gift I got was, was a McLaren road car. Um, and that was still when I was at Red Bull, so I had to keep it a little bit under. <laughs> La pregunta que, uh, but que I, si era fan de McLaren antes. Yeah, y le ha dicho que de niño, pues sí, que le regalaron cuando era chico, tal, el primer coche fue McLaren, no sé qué. And even going to like the no típico, vamos. Side, was like, no, verdad. You know, you can't really be seen here, so... But uh, I've been a fan of the brand for, for quite a long time. And I feel like there are real parallels with Bruce McLaren's story and yours. You know, leaving home at young age, coming all the way to Europe to chase your dream. That must sort of give it that extra sense of nostalgia and, and ultimately pride. Yeah, it's, it's cool to, I guess, come from that side of the pond, so to speak, and, and really come to the, the hub of, of motor racing here in, in the UK, um, where, you know, Formula One is kind of so centered around and uh, to really make it happen. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the, the usual kind of story, like a kid with a dream and then there you go. But um, I was, uh, yeah, I still pinch myself. Like, it's, I think I'm entering my 11th season in F1. Wow, you're old. And, yeah, but it still feels... <laughs> no hay prisa, tío. Like a mí me gusta escuchar estas cosas, ¿eh? Yeah. O sea, that doesn't el coche es obviamente lo más importante, pero bueno. Está bien escucharles también, ¿no? There's a few that just wanted to send you a special message. Have a look. Hi, Uncle Daniel. I hope you have a good ride. I hope you win. And kiss, kiss to Uncle Daniel. And I hope... McLaren's will win. I hope McLaren's will be fast. Kiss, kiss. No me llega a enterar de quién es este niño. Si es un niño random, no, no me llega a enterar. Love heart. Love heart. Oh. What a love. Bye, Uncle Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hope you hope you're well and all is going well with McLaren. No sé si son, no sé si son conocidos, eh, de verdad que no. El sobrino, habéis dicho, no sé. Es que no lo estaba escuchando, la verdad. Great team, McLaren. Lots of history. Stay safe and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Wish we were there. Enjoy. And hope to come to a race soon. Love heart. Love you. Sí, son los padres del niño, pero yo digo, ¿quién? o sea, que no sé quién es el niño. Si es fan, o sea, si, no sé si lo conoce de algo, Ricardo. I love you. Um... Yeah, this has been the longest. Joder, the que longest sí, que los padres, está claro que son los padres, joder. Family, uh, <laughs> La pregunta era al niño. So, um, yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm not going to cry on stage here, but. Uh, and that's my little nephew for anyone that doesn't, doesn't know. Um, don't have kids of my own, but uh, I, I certainly treat little Isaac like he is my own. So uh, I miss. Sorry, mum and dad, but I think I miss him maybe even a little bit more. But, uh, Coño, que está, está. Yeah, el sobrino, vale, vale. Uh, hopefully we can que no lo he escuchado, mejor lo han dicho antes. Get, get them to a race or get back home soon. But, uh, yeah, until then, I guess I just got to drive fast and make all this worthwhile. Um, I think actually that's like when I left home to kind of pursue this dream, that was really the biggest thing that I kept, like the kind of little, in a way, chip on my shoulder. I was like, if I'm making these sacrifices and like missing family and home I was like make it work so I'm going to talk more time because obviously he's a pilot new eh? good stuff 
Now, as McLaren have an all-new driver lineup for 2021, the team thought the drivers, well, they might benefit from a creative team-building exercise. So to help McLaren kick off the season in style, Lando and Daniel were tasked with creating a new McLaren anthem to soundtrack the year, if you will. Here's how they got off. Hostia, no sé cómo salió esto, eh. Has dicho que es un himno. No sé yo esta gente. No, no me fío mucho, eh. Un himno. Se van a poner a cantar, tíos. Se van a poner a cantar. Han dicho un himno. Se van a poner a cantar. Wow, this is impressive. We got, going on? Casi mejor que toquen, Chris, que toquen instrumentos. Chris, Jamie on guitar, Andy, no me gusta la palabra Kinky, pero se viene aquí. Joder, prepárense. Apretad el culo, eh, que se viene, se viene. Come meet Vega. Vega is our vocal expert, voice of an angel. She's going to help us with all things vocal. Do you listen to music before? Yeah, you race. pretty religiously. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because I listen to like one song on repeat. Fed out. What song? Uh, it's called Tortoise. Two of the fastest guys I will ever meet in my life, like a song called Tortoise. Pero hombre, mucha charla. O que, si van a cantar, que canten. Que canten, pero ya. Just to show you. Me da miedo. We can make bits bigger Me da miedo. as well. Like, Me da like, miedo que esta gente like se ponga a cantar. Track, but... Proteged vuestros oídos, eh. <ríe> Proteged vuestros oídos. I picture like a dark foggy night. It's got like a nighttime, like a kind of 80s nighttime horror theme to it. <laughs> I didn't like it as much, but okay. I think we have like slightly different tastes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Venga, hombre, cantad ya, joder. <laughs> Probably two and three is like where I'm at. Cool. All right, let's All right. Um, hit you with number five. That part's cool. <laughs> the more like little snippets of drum parts, I like quite a bit. At the moment, it's kind of at this tempo where you. Quiero ver a Norris cantando. Quiero ver. Ah, a Ricciardo también, eh? Pero. I think there's a jigsaw coming together. Dime por favor que no es eso que tienen que cantar. Dime por favor que no. Yeah. I just want to be here all the time. My happy room. Look at se viene, this. Se viene, se viene, se viene. What's this thing? Se viene. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're gonna go. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Nice. This is so much fun. Turn Let's... one record. Tremendamente divertido, sí. Venga, todos juntos. I mean, you could just have like a recover or together, exactly. No, por favor, quiero más, quiero más. Dame más de esto. Down to the first corner, it's about to get heavy. No me lo creo. Not today. Overcoming the pressure. Feel the pulse in my neck. We're in this together. That was brilliant. Yeah. Como que brilliant. Quiero que cante. They've just written a rap. <laughs> That's amazing. We were going to get a rapper in, and they've just done it for us. All we want is you spit in those lyrics, you know, just emotional delivery. It doesn't matter about timing. Spit them. <laughs> Voy a actualizar Lights out. el nombre del director. Racing. Engines revving. Down to the first corner. It's about to get heavy. Not today. Overcoming the pressure. Feel the pulse in my Esto no es tan ridículo porque está como rapeando, ¿sabes? Esto no... I'll let you guys go. That's so good. You yeah. have smashed a rap there. Let's do some drumming. Yo les quiero escuchar entonar. My left hand starts going. Yeah, they're drumming. Pero en serio, aplaudes por eso, no, hombre, no. I can do that all day now. It's nice. Show us what you got, Chris. Ay, yo he dicho antes que los pusieran en un instrumento, pero casi que prefiero que canten porque me río más. Where do you begin? Oh my gosh. You place your index finger on that note there and press it down and you slap. 
Oh, oh. Let me slap further back here and give me like a high kind of. So let me slap further down here. Speak. Pero I'm bueno. Really get into it, don't I? Yeah. Madre mía, lo grave es que tiene eso, ¿no? Pero va, va, eh, me hace, van a componer la canción ellos, creo, ¿eh? Porque es un himno, dicen. ¿Te imaginas que se pone a cantar Lando Norris ahí? It's Friday. Sería la polla, tío. <risa> Sería la pollísima. Mira, es ocu totalmente oculta las carencias del canto, ¿eh? No, no, that was, no, no, really good. ¿Cómo que really good? Pero bueno, queremos, queremos verlos cantar. Carlos Sainz estaba diciendo: Joder, macho, menudo momento lo para irme. Por favor, canta, por favor, canta. No, no va a cantar. hacer una encuesta de... Espérate. Azul o gris. ¿Qué, va, qué, ¿Qué habrá más? Azul o gris. A ver, espérate. Pero bueno, cante, hombre. Vale, ya. A ver, ahí está, azul o gris. Perfecto. Pero bueno, queremos veros cantar, tío. Queremos veros cantar. Yo creo que Chris también, ¿eh? Oh, I loved it. I just uh, actually. No, no, pero no nos van a poner la canción. <laughs> no, I have. I've committed to it. I'm going to become a musician. Are you? <laughs> Are you gonna... to be, anyway. Okay. Soundproof the walls. I hope at your home. Yeah. No, don't yeah, worry. Good. No. So, what did you learn in the process of all of that? Uh, everything. <laughs> um, I learned that I suck at singing. Aprendí que soy una mierda cantando. Me parece correcta la declaración. And then I was just, I love, I mean, I played a little bit of guitar when I was younger in school because it was a cool Le thing to tocar la guitarra cuando era joven. Very good then, no? I mean, it was like four chords, so it wasn't that... Come on. Yeah, I was really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I played But four chords. When he, when he says, I used to play at school, let's remember, he was at school like two years ago, so it was recently. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo está riendo de que hace dos años iba al colegio, ¿sabes? Yes, here it starts. <laughs> yes. Esos chistes valen con Norris, con Verstappen, con... Y luego tocar drum set, así que eso que me gustó. Y luego un triángulo, ¿sabes? Sí, bueno, eso es... Siempre quería hacerlo, eso es algo que siempre quería hacer en mi vida. Bueno, sabemos que te gusta tu música y quieres empezar una banda también. ¿Va a pasar? Bueno, ¿sabes cuando te... Es como cantar en el baño. Piensas que suena muy bien. But then you see it from the outside, right? And it's it's painful. And que canta en la ducha y dice que desde la ducha le suena bien, pero cuando la escuchas de fuera es un sufrimiento. For me, as far as like let's say making a career out of it, or but I would definitely love to. I would love to learn more, like just for my own. As you say, like it's it's a passion of mine. I know really nothing about it, but no sabe nada de música, pero le encanta. I live with music every day, as far as like listening to it, and I love discovering new music and artists. So it was cool to experience it, and like even just be alongside like real artists who have done it their whole life. They were incredible, weren't they? Yeah. So talented. I'm jealous. That alone must have just been such a buzz. They 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 brought it alive, didn't they? Yeah, and that that's like their ability just to. No hay subtítulos, creo, porque es un directo. Vamos, lo hemos intentado poner, pero no hay, ¿eh? It's, I don't think it's the right, but I guess to jam, like just to jam and oh. without any real kind of playbook, so to speak. It's like someone starts and then they just enter and go and, and 
by the end of it, we like we were all just having fun, and I don't think anyone scripted that, so that was cool. Oh, brilliant stuff. Yeah, they certainly made it look easy, didn't they? So look, the big question on everyone's lips: When are we going to hear the final track? Hmm. Sì, va a segnare il punto di I don't know, I think it's going to be some I think time... Before the start of the season. Okay, you said it then. I, I, think I don't know if so. I could say that I or not. Think, so. I think so. I think Makes maybe in sense. Bahrain. Okay. I think it's going to be good. I've got, you know... Yeah. Auto-tune. There's plenty the of auto-tune. Auto -tune. Yeah. Yes, yes, maybe. Okay, <laughs> watch this space. Okay, well, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing those uh, new musical careers take off. In the meantime, we've got these lovely fans here. Hi, guys. Déjate de meantime. Déjate de meantime. No. <laughs> Y tira para adelante. They are looking resplendent in papaya. Shall we get some questions for them? From these guys for you guys. Uh, let's start then. Who's our first question from? What is your name and where do you come from? Qué bueno. Hi, my name is Martina and I'm from Italy. Inglés italiano. I've got for Martina. Uh, I've got a question for Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Far away. <laughs> so, Daniel, you're now a McLaren driver, a team with a long history in F1 that can deliver. Uh, will you bring with you some Aussie, like, some Aussie slang and teach Lando? Yes, that is a great question. Um, I, I need to teach him some Aussie slang, yes. Uh, it's, it's very easy to start with the bad words. Um, yes, let's keep it clean. I will, yeah, I, I want to start with some good ones, some easy ones. <laughs> David I think actually kind of to announce my signing or like the start of the year, yeah. McLaren did a G'day t-shirt. So G'day is the first one you need to know. Yeah, I think, I think you're all over that, aren't G'day? you? G'day? Yeah. G'day, mate. G'day. G'day. Yeah. G'day. Just let it roll. G'day. <laughs> Uh, but I will, day, teach him, uh, I will teach him along the way, <laughs> Martina. Uh, Thank you so much. Oh, oh you got a kiss as well. Oh, Thank you very much for beso. your question. Okay. Daniel, un beso. Qué bueno. El, madre mía, Daniel. Eh. Hello, what is your question? Hi, how are you? I'm Giovanna. I'm from Rio, Brazil. Great to Brazil. see you. Far away with your question, Fernando. Fernando. Well, Lando, we've seen you working in the garage on social media. What do you actually do on the car? Yeah, what do you actually do? That's a very good <laughs> question. I, think I kind of think it was a bit set up myself. That's but. what a lot of people think. And uh, I don't mind if they think that, but um, I, uh, I really enjoy spending time with my mechanics. Um, and even my engineers come along too. And uh, we just have some good laughs. And um, Me pasa muy bien con sus mecánicos. Y, I've always kind of been into that kind of stuff since I was very young. You know, building cars and taking bits apart. I'm more than taking bits apart because I can never put it together very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mechanics are like yeah, step leave, away leave, from the car. Exactly. I leave all of that the setting up to them, but they're taking apart. Um, I like getting involved. It's good fun. Um, we have some good laughs, like I said, and it's just it lets them get home a little bit early or back to the hotel. And, um, and that's all. So it's... I got nothing else to do at that time apart from go home and watch some Netflix, so I decided to go and help. The ultimate team player. Thank you so much for your question. <laughs> you you <laughs> hey Daniel, eres un pecho frío? Sería, sería maravilloso eso, eh? Have a look. Stoner! Hey, hey, this is... <laughs> <laughs> vale, intuimos que se conocen. Hey, this is Martin, I'm from Dallas. Oh, no? I was trying to text you and uh, yeah, didn't get a reply, so I thought I'd get on here. <laughs> So tell us exactly who you are, Martin, where you fit into all of this. Uh, I'm Lando's old mechanic from back in 2014. He's definitely forgot about you. No, I, no one, <laughs> I, I don't worry, Stone, I haven't forgot you. Um, Un poco incómodo ese momento, eh? got a question for me, Stone? I think you do. What is your yeah, question definitely. for Lando? So my, my question to you, Lando, is have you got any new techniques now to stop you from falling out the seat? <laughs> Can you, can you explain? Pero es que no me enteró. El audio es bastante malo. Yeah, what is the backstory? Uh, so, basically, it was one of my first couple of races with Lando. Um, he went out for one of his practice sessions, came in after about three laps and said uh, he didn't feel comfortable. He's going to fall out the car going around the corners. So, um, we took him back to the team and we ended up Velcroing Lando. No sé si tienen relación. No sé. No sé. Actually, Velcro de I mean, what are we talking about? Mira la cara de Ricciardo, tú se está, se está despollando Ricciardo, míralo. Yeah, it was like a strip down the whole of my back. Uh, but it kept me in. And it worked, did it work? It worked, it didn't it? 
Yeah, well, we the won job. together. We won to win the, the world championship that year, so did All the right. job. So we we <laughs> more people need to try it, you know. There you go. Yeah. Use it in F1. It might have been a danger hazard at the same time, but. It's a little bit of a rare, eh? It works. That's me, true. So. That's true. Yeah, no, 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 Cheers, Darren. Oh, Thank that's you. wonderful. Thanks, man. I'll, yes, I'll, I'll take that for me as well. <laughs> 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 Okay, and we have a message to give you a message as well, Daniel. Let's She's check it out. What a surprise. I know, oh, it's good. Daniel, it's Martin. Hope you're well. Uh, I miss you, first of all, and I'm very excited to see you race for McLaren this season. Very curious to see how you would look in orange, and also excited to see the car. See you soon. <laughs> yeah, well, <no. laughs> but it's, it's on a time. He can help you with your music career. Yeah, just to, he's just one explain, guy. explain your connection with Martin Garrett. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I really got to get into music. Um, so Martin is. Uh, otra es con la música. Mira, si nos vais a hablar de música, que canten. Porque otra cosa. Uh, and, um, yeah, I got to know him. I got to know him. I would say pretty well. Um, I think it was 20, 2017. Sí, han estado cantando un poco, uh, and, efectivamente, Pedro, pero han vuelto y siguen hablando. Sí. I kind of found myself a lot of the time in the August break um, in a in a little place called Las Vegas. Um, <laughs> Yep, think yeah. I know it. Quiet, small town. Yeah, just and, um, okay, está, estaba clarísimo que el evento lo iban a alargar. O sea, tú no organizas este evento para estar 10 minutos. No. Está claro que cuando hace una cosa así es para que me metan hype al tema. Es probablemente el guy más bonito que he conocido. Y es un hombre muy positivo. Tiene mucha energía, como puedes imaginar, haciendo el trabajo que hace. Y sí, así. Hopefully we'll get him out to some races. Amazing. And he's probably more. I think he's better at the after party as opposed to like being in the paddock as a fan. But uh, yeah, we'll try and get him out there. And I think that's probably your August holiday sorted. You get him. Yo creo que hasta, hasta una hora está dentro de lo que yo espero, eh. O sea, yeah. poca broma. Yeah. Yo en mis cálculos estaba una hora entera de presentación. Que a lo mejor es menos, ¿eh? Pero que a partir de una hora me parecerá un, un exceso. Pero hasta una hora me parece algo completamente normal. Porque estas cosas son así. Now, joining us on stage are the guys charged with keeping these two in check this year. Please give a huge welcome to McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown and McLaren F1 team principal Andreas Seidel. <laughs> Woo, Zach! My boss! Good evening. Wonderful to have say you, that, gentlemen. I want to get your reaction to the music piece we saw. Estoy por ir a por well, we have seen some interesting talents, but at the same time, I hope that they race <laughs> better than they were in uh, singing. Oh, this is true. He is hoping. Uh, Zach, what were your connections with the music piece? So I think you helped us put that together. Uh, didn't you? I mean, with these two guys in particular, I'm claiming nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually Mark Knopfler's uh, studio. Uh, here in, uh, in London from Dire Straits, uh, who was kind enough to uh, let these guys pretend they're musicians, but clearly we need to get back to racing. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, now that we've got you with us, shall we look at the car? Sí, se enfocó, pero en algún momento volverá, porque esta cámara es así. Sound like a good idea? Ya está, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. Let's see the 2021 Challenger, the MCL 35M. What? ¿Qué, señora? ¿Qué dice? ¡Ojo! Pero bueno. No, no, no. ¿Esto, esto qué es? Se viene, se viene, se viene. Yeah. Let's go. Insertar meme, por favor. <laughs> este, este, lo que he visto, no sé, no sé. Me temo que no es el antiguo, eh. Bueno, están troleando. Por favor, que no, que no sea lo que acabamos de ver, que no, no puede ser eso. ¿Es quicker? 
That's the, well, I hope so. That's the plan. Do you think they'll be pretty by race one or not? Not quite yet. I think it's going to be close, to be honest, but there has been a reduction in downfall, so yeah. it'll be interesting to see where the other guys have got to and where we are compared to them. Let's take a look. Cool. <laughs> it's very good. I want to go and drive it now. Daniel first McLaren, what do you think? Coming to a new... <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think the start of any year, just seeing a new car with your name on it for the McLaren first time. McLaren Mercedes. The start of any El season, gran cambio. Like, what? It's really cool. Like, that feeling doesn't wear off. So, Lando, you, obviously you're familiar with last year's car. Yeah. So, does anything jump out of you that's different with this? Well, I think one of the most obvious things from what you can see visually is, I guess there's less floor comparing to last year. There is, yeah. But it's a bit more compact, isn't it, on the rear with the Mercedes. So, it's, you can see effectively what a bit more compact in the, the rear end. So, so we'll start with the engine, which is kind of about there. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, a Mercedes engine, so we've worked really hard with our colleagues at Bricksworth on getting that done. And of course, last year we had all these extraordinary circumstances. So the sport was shut down at the beginning of last year, as we know. So we started late. Cars were homologated as part of the regulation changes last year. So really, you, you shouldn't be able to change anything in this. Se han tomado muy, muy al pie de la letra el tema de que este año el reglamento es igual, ¿eh? So that was the challenge in its own right. So were you a little bit restricted with what yeah, you yeah. would have been allowed to do? Yeah, yeah, because because there was like this sort of development token thing. You, yeah. all, all of ours was spent on this, but it, it meant that you had to respect the rest of the car as much as possible. Several steps are made at the rear. So you'll see here how the floor tapers backwards. So it's a, a lot narrower at the back now around the rear tire. Mm -hmm. So you've got this taper, it's, it's less wide. You've got <laughs> no quería gastar en pintura, eh? Which are very influential in this area. Dios, es que Dios, es igual, eh? Flow, a ver, no. Narrower, es igual, so a grandes rasgos, es igual. Influence from them. And then the diffuser, there's a, bit, a minor tweaks really, but just the fences and diffuser are a little bit shorter in places as well. So you've got this kind of rear corner, which is unique to 21. So it needed fresh thinking, fresh aerodynamics. You know, it wasn't anything we really kind of understood before we got into it. You'll find this area probably on most cars developing quite a lot and you yeah, can see definitely. the complexity that's in there. I think the important thing for Silverstone is we get some laps under our belt. You yeah. guys get, begin to get a little bit of a feeling for the car. We can make sure all the systems are working as planned because obviously a lot of them are changed with the engine. Um, and of course we've run some, some dyno work on this as well. We need to see if that stacks up to track running. Right. So even though it's just a few laps and we've got lots of filming and, and pictures to be taken whilst we're doing that, of course, as well as a promotion. We're still way. trying to understand everything and the new bits. Exactly. Hay detalles que son diferentes, por supuesto. O sea, no es un calco exacto, pero yo pensaba que con lo de Mercedes iba a tener algo un poquillo más. There is a problem. Awesome. Thanks, James. This is cool. Cheers. Cheers. It's cool. Sí, sí. Super cool. Pero lo tienen allí, ¿no? No lo van a poner allí, ¿en serio? Dios, por favor, eh. mira lo de lateral, por Dios. Yeah, when I saw it first time, I have to say I, I liked it straight away. Quite, quite a lot, a lot of interesting, uh, let's say, updates. Ya ves, te, te ponen ahí la ropa con poquísimo azul para para que te creas que no. Eh? I tell you. After I've seen the first lap times in, in Bahrain this year. That's a very good point. Now, Zach, uh, give us just some insight into how parecido. hard the team have worked. Because obviously it's very eh? similar to last year's car, but to accommodate the new engine, a huge amount of work must be done. The front of the front has a blue front that I didn't have. Men and women here have uh, done such an awesome job uh, developing a car during COVID. Uh, so some people here, some people not here, restrictions, working strange hours. Uh, I think they've done a spectacular job and just a tremendous amount of uh, thank you to them and, and their families because uh, this is very much a, a family team. Well, let's get the reaction from the fans. What do you guys think? Oh, you like the car? No, yo no le enseñaré mucho la reacción de los fans. Mira, 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 están ahí todos. Ay, mira, mira el del medio. Está con la cara de peluda mierda de coche. Mira, mira, mira. Este, este, mira, mira este. Está con la cara de, pero ¿qué cojones acabáis de hacer? ¿Qué pedazo de trozo de mierda me habéis de sacar? Just how excited are you about the start of this season? You've got a complete team. We've got a dynamic. Están parados todos menos ese. Ese está diciendo. Very excited. I think we have the best driver lineup in in Formula One. Oh, the bold statement. We're going to go with it. I think Andreas and his team have done an outstanding job. We, you know, we're still far off the front of the field, so we have a long way to to go. But coming off a very strong year, and so we just need to keep our 
Pero de verdad no lo tienen allí el coche. De verdad no lo tienen allí. Sí, sí, no, pero sí, a ver, lo, lo que a mí me extraña es que con el tema de Mercedes no hayan hecho ningún cambio. Es lo que me extraña, que yo creía, y mira la foto, te están poniendo ahí el gris. Yo creía que iban a meter... Porque si siguiese con Renault, bueno... Uh, into the car, but uh, thanks to great teamwork also with the colleagues uh, from Mercedes in Brixworth. Pero lo que no entiendo, um, no sé si es que por, por temas de, no sé, logística, yo que sé, no puedo tener el coche allí, pero... Lo suyo que estén allí, ¿eh? Uh, while the pandemic is still, still full on. And then, uh, well, this is the pandemic is still full on. And then, yeah, the entire team, myself, you're looking forward to finally go racing with these two guys here, the heroes of, of our sport. Yo no esperaba un cambio radical, yo esperaba naranja, por supuesto, como color principal, pero un poquito más de gris, que le, que le daba un poco el sello de Mercedes, ¿no? Y para nada, eh, para nada. A ver, ¿qué fecha? Voy a mirar las fechas del, del resto. Vale, el 19 de febrero Alfa Tauri. Es el próximo. Sería el... ¿Qué día es esto? El, el viernes. Alfa Tauri el viernes. Alfa Romeo el lunes que viene. Mercedes el martes siguiente. Vale. Bueno, faltan por saber cuatro equipos Aston Martin. Bueno, Aston Martin no se lo ha dicho ya. Hasta Martín no se lo ha dicho. ¿eh? O sea, que no, nos a, no, no, no tienen el coche allí, ¿no? Pues nada. Se acabó. Se acabó. Hasta aquí el, la presentación de McLaren. No sé. Yo no es que me esperase un cambio muy grande, pero la verdad es que eh, pensaba que un poquito más sí. <risa> más que nada por esto. ¿eh? Fijaos que es que el, el, el tema gráfico está cambiado. Es que aquí hay mucho gris blanco. Es lo que esperaba, pero bueno. En fin. Nada, hay veces que no... <risa> que te sorprenden, pero bueno. Nada, vamos a ir cerrando ya. Directo, hacemos una raid antes de irnos, eso sí. Micrófono, vale. Vamos a ver quién está por ahí. Emitiendo. Una encuesta, no creo que haga falta una encuesta. Creo que ya habéis dejado muy claro lo que os parece. <risa> Está hablando Norris en directo, pero ¿cómo puede ser esto, tíos? Ah, no, pero Norris... ¿Qué, qué cojones, Norris? Ah, vale, que, que solo está en directo para poner una imagen de que está en directo McLaren. Vale, bueno. A ver, alguien que esté por ahí en F1.20. <risa> alguien que esté en F1.20, vamos a ver. Pues, pues, pues... Bastante gente. En este momento, pero, pero no hay mucho con cámara. A ver, ¿este tiene cámara? No lo sé. Se acabó. Bueno. Aquí. ¿Pero este qué F1 es? ¿Qué F1 es este? ¿El 19? Hostia, no, no, cuidado. Que me, que me peta la cabeza ese, no, cuidado, eh. Ah, mira, está, está, está. Este es el piloto de McLaren, de... Ah, no, pero este tiene 126. Este no nos vale. Venga, el Pony, sí, que está. El Pony Mágico está en, en directo. Vamos a hacerla él. Es que hay otro, pero el otro es piloto McLaren, creo, tío. O sea, de, de eSports, digo. Vale, raid. Ahí va. Bueno, pues allá va esa raid. Eh... Tenéis, por cierto, vídeo en mi canal de YouTube nuevo de modo mi equipo, ¿vale? Para si quieres echarle un ojo. Bastante, bastante entretenida esa carrera. <risa> y nada, nos veremos probablemente mañana aquí en Twitch eh, Motorsport Manager, muy probablemente. 
Y el próximo vídeo, modo mi equipo, probablemente también. Y será el... Hoy es lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves. El viernes, probablemente, ¿vale? Así que nada. Lo dicho, iniciamos raid y nos vemos pronto. Un saludo.